when the correct techniques are used. We can now look at some cases managed by skilled practitioners of this art. In this treatment session, we're going to use 1% polydocanol for the reticular varices and 0.5% polydocanol for the telangiectasis. Solutions are drawn up in advance and syringes carefully labelled to avoid injecting the wrong solution. A microsclerotherapy giving set is seen here. This has a 30 gauge needle and a flexible tube connected to the syringe. This allows the needle to be manipulated with one hand and the syringe with the other. Treatment commences with injection of a reticular vein. This is considered to be one of the feeders for the patch of telangiectasis. These are effectively filled by injecting the feeder vein. This sclerotherapist is going to use a 30 gauge straight needle. She angulates it to facilitate injection of superficial varices. Again, reticular varices are injected before telangiectasis. Cotton wool pads are applied at the end of treatment to increase the compression over the treated area. Here, an experienced sclerotherapist attaches a Sires device to a syringe. This facilitates manipulation of the syringe with one hand and allows a more comfortable injection technique. Again, reticular varices are injected before the telangiectasis are attempted. This sclerotherapist stretches the skin with her left hand and empties the veins as the fluid is injected. Finally, the skin is massaged to ensure that the sclerosant is distributed to as many small veins as possible. Finally, a compression pad is applied to the skin and this will be worn beneath the stocking. Once the reticular varices have been injected, Careful attention is paid to the telangiectasis. As many telangiectasis as possible are filled with sclerosant to ensure a satisfactory response. These sclerotherapists recommend use of a class two medical compression stocking this is applied here with the aid of a frame which greatly facilitates application of the stocking. The stocking is worn for seven days following treatment.